terrifying warning just released about what's about to happen on October 9 for sickening reason. America hasn't even come close to recovering from the Sunday night attack in Las Vegas which left 50 dead and over 500 wounded, as a lot of questions still remain unanswered about why this happened. With this gaping wound still wide open and citizens feeling vulnerable and unsafe, we're now being warned to brace ourselves for more hell that's coming on October 9. Authorities are saying that they have received credible information of what is promised to take place in just a few days from now which could have devastating effects on the entire nation. This exact day was picked for the plan for a very specific and sickening reason. In the distraction of the aftermath of the country's most deadly mass shooting in modern history, it looks like we haven't experienced the worst yet of what's to come. Other people have taken this time with the attention consumed on one devastation to plan the next. While America is weakened at the moment as people mourn the senseless loss of life, those who want to see our nation fail are seizing this time as an opportunity. It also happens to come at a significant time for an evil dictator who has been waiting for his chance and is about to take it on this specific day. North Korea's Kim Jong-un doesn't seem too happy that he hasn't been getting attention and is now commanding it with what he's bringing on America. It was only a matter of time before Kim Jong-un put all their practices into full effect and it appears that he's now ready to go one step further on the anniversary of the founding of the political party that governs in Pyongyang. U.S. News & World Report reports a top CIA official for the Korean Peninsula warned Wednesday that the U.S. should be ready for a new provocation by North Korea on Columbus Day on October 9, which coincides with the anniversary of the founding of the political party that governs in Pyongyang. Stand by your phones, Yong Suk Lee, Deputy Assistant Director of the CIA South Korea Mission Center, said while speaking at a conference organized by the agency at the George Washington University. Lee did not speculate what North Korea might do, though it frequently carries out missile launches or nuclear tests on major state anniversaries, such as the birthday of leader Kim Jong-un or other dates associated with the lives of his father or grandfather. October 10 marks the anniversary of the founding of the Workers' Party of Korea in 1945. Tensions with North Korea have reached an all-time high in recent days which seems to be to the enjoyment of deranged Kim Jong-un who is feeling ignored and neglected now. Despite the attention being off this mentally ill dictator, he's crazy enough to take it to this level and was intent on doing so. His constant weapons testing was more than just for show, it was something to take seriously even if he will lose that war if he brings it to our soil. It appears that what he has planned for a few days from now is an actual provocation of war, like the other tests have been, and now it's time for this whiny man child needs to be shut down for good stop this madness from going nuclear. Tensions with North Korea have reached new extremes in recent weeks, following months of increased weapons tests combined with new U.S. appraisals that Pyongyang is close to perfecting or perhaps already has made an intercontinental ballistic missile that can carry a nuclear warhead and hit targets accurately, U.S. News explained. Lee added that Pyongyang historically has been controlled by its fear of the Chinese abandoning its support for the Hermit Kingdom, or that the U.S. would carry out a military strike. Kim Jong-un no longer has those fears, Lee said. There's a clarity of purpose in what Kim Jong-un has done, Lee said. Despite all the rhetoric from North Korea and their weapons testing, Lee believes that the likelihood of the country intentionally starting a war with America or any of our allies remains relatively low. The last person who wants conflict on the peninsula is actually Kim Jong-un, Lee said, adding that Kim, like all authoritarian leaders, wishes to rule for a long time and die in his own bed. We have a tendency in this country and elsewhere to underestimate the conservatism that runs in these authoritarian regimes, U.S. News reported. However, that shouldn't stop President Donald Trump from responding to Kim Jong-un's taunting with a show of force to shut him up. This tug-of-war has been going on for too long and the game needs to end. Perhaps the president will do just that diplomatically when he visits South Korea, Japan and China on his upcoming trip to Asia in November that will be his first since taking office, office.